I'm good. I'm just you messing asking, with you. You're asking technical questions. Yes. Yeah. You, yeah. yeah. Keep them on a the slope. True. True. You just know. Sometimes the most dangerous when you know just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. You don't want them to get too cocky. Otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> then it then we'll go sideways and be my fault. Oh, we didn't have the channels. I asked you. Again, I can only take you so far, right? It's yeah. sooner or later you got to be on your own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Spread your wings. Um, so cool. Cool award. Nice award. Cool. Uh -huh. Thank you. Nice yeah, yeah. Thank no, you. No. Very exciting. We very much appreciate it. It's awesome. Yeah. 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 So what was the award for again? Uh, mover and Shaker. Mover and so shaker. I believe like an established company that's been around for a while, but is still doing big yeah. things and, and yeah, yeah. making you know innovating and selling their products uh, outside of the Maritimes, if you will. Cool. Do, do you mind giving us uh, like a little bit of intro for the video? So who you are? Then, yeah. Who sure. you are. What you do? Yeah. Sure. Who you do it with? Yeah. yeah. Even a why in there if you want to get into that. Whatever you want to go. Wherever you want to go, go. Cool. Um, Language is yours too. Whatever you want. I'm Scott McLeod. This is Rich Gould. We're two thirds of the uh, marketing and innovation team at Pump House Brewery. Uh, we've been working on packaging and design and innovation together for, I think, probably over ten years now. Rich. Um, yeah, more than that. More than that. So um, it's it's a great honor to get recognized. I know I know the team back at the Pump House is going to be thrilled to get the award. Um, yeah, it's just super cool, and we beat out um, some pretty great New Brunswick yeah. companies. I mean, yeah. Crosby's been around for over 140 years, you know, so that's awesome. I think that was yeah, uh, sort of dominate that space too. They're uh, yeah, I mean, so how long you guys been? How long is this company around? Ten years, you said? No, we uh, it's not 99. It's the 25th uh, 25th anniversary. This we year, celebrate yeah. our 25th anniversary. And what did it start out as? It started out as a bar with the tap house. Or it was, was it? A, a brew pub with a with a pizza oven. Oh, okay. In downtown Moncton, and the popularity grew. Um, I think in, in, in five years, it just kept on growing and growing. Till then, we had to expand to a production facility on the outskirts of Moncton on Mill Road. Uh, then we had to expand that facility. Uh, we had a, our original, our most popular beer for the longest time was our blueberry ale, um, which we got into a lot of markets because we were one of the first microbreweries in this end of the country, anyway. So we. We, we got established in, uh, we had listings in Ontario really quickly, uh, Alberta, Manitoba, uh, and it's hard to do for a microbrewery, but I think we had the benefit of being one of the four, at the forefront of craft beer, if you will, especially wow. on the East Coast. Yeah. Um, and then uh, 2016, we uh, came up with a Crafty Rattler, which is a, a wonderful grapefruit and tangerine rattler, and that took off like a jet. Um, to the point where we couldn't keep up, um, and that seems to be leading the charge now at the, at the brewery. So, yeah, wow. it's it's a it's an ongoing concern, and it's a very busy spot. Uh, we just increased capacity, almost doubled our capacity with a renovation that we did last year. Um, I can go on, Rich. Do you want to <laughs> jump in? We just we sell in every province in Canada except, yeah. except for Quebec. Uh, and over the last two years, uh, well, the new ownership came on board four years ago uh, with, um, with, a, with a plan and a focus and uh, to expand the brand. Yeah. Uh, and they've been working incredibly hard on trying to uh, open up Europe. The United States, we're available in, I think, eight or ten states right now with at least two of our products. And we've sold in Europe. And uh, their guys are planning a trip to Asia to, to try to break open that market as well. So, That's awesome. Yeah. It's a... It's a it's a big market right now. They're looking for Canadian products. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah. And I know I know one of the owners has been working on that for about three years now. It's a long, arduous process, but uh, we see a light at the end of the tunnel. You know, the hard work pays off. So. And how long? So how long have you been in this switch? I've been 10? I've been working with Pump House since 2005. Oh, they they okay. had they had just won Canadian Brewery of the Year. Wow, and, that's a long uh, haul too. Yeah, and yeah. so I, I came on board and um, they they really needed some marketing and branding help. Right. Because um, they were they were doing good in spite of themselves at the time because the product was so good. And then we came in and, and uh, helped them, you know, unify their packaging and kind of rebrand a little bit and, and kind of refine all that. and. Um, and then I've been kind of working with them ever since. So you've been on almost since the beginning, and you start how long? Uh, at the same time, him actually in different roles, vastly different roles. Uh, they hired me to run their restaurant back in 2005 as well. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Wow. 
So, but you guys, are, so you're, are you, you're, you're not owners, you're not... We're not owners uh, you're not at employees. all. You're not employees, you're not, you're a contractor. Yeah, yeah. That's Scott, you're an employee? I'm an employee, yes. Okay, but well, 20 year runs. 20 year runs as an employee is impressive. 20 years as a contractor is really impressive. I, I yeah, that's I think a long you're kind of an employee. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah oh, I think by now you, you are an employee. Yeah, definitely an employee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's and a long haul, though. It is, and uh, I mean, I've I've done different roles within the company. Right yes. now, it's basically in charge of uh, marketing and innovation, along with Rich. Yeah. But I mean, I, I started out uh, being the general manager at the restaurant, okay. which I helped them run for six yeah. years before I moved over to the brewery. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So right, so right now, the do they still have the original? Uh, we have, yeah, we have the original pump house uh, in downtown Moncton. Uh, we have the fill station, which is basically a tap room yeah. that's connected to the front of the brewery. Uh, and two years ago, I think it's been two, two and a half years yeah. ago, we opened up a third, third location in uh, Shediac, New Brunswick, which is a seaside town. Uh, but we've really become part of the community out there. We wanted to focus on making sure that we were everybody welcomed us, and, and we're not we're not there just for the summer season. We stay all, all year, year long. Friday, and a lot of yeah. Friday employment, all the other wonderful things. Exactly. Yeah. Which is cool. Right? It's yeah. very cool, and it's been very successful okay, there. Well, that's really good. And I think it's a t it's a testament to the company too that, like, we're not the only ones that have are like long time, you know, uh, part of the furniture almost that you, you can't true. get rid of us. Right? Yeah. Because uh, you know it is it's um, it, it's. It's not only is it a great industry to be in, uh, of course, you know, uh, beer and alcohol, but but it's a it is. I don't know. Good thing. Thank, uh, you. Uh, thank you. Thank um, you. But it's uh, uh, B-roll. Cover that. Cut yeah. that whole yeah. thing. You know, you got this. That's all be alright. Uh, or just leave it in. What's the difference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to get one. Yeah. It'll make my filming yeah. debut today a lot yeah. easier for me. That's right. right. Perfect. That's right. Um, no, but it's you know it's such it, it is a great company to work for and. Well, clearly, and, uh, 19 years each. I mean, yeah, yeah. something's okay. Yeah, well, it's fun, it's and, I, and I, I was saying earlier, like, you know, for uh, most of the people that are here representing their companies are the owners, right? And for our ownership to entrust us with, you know, to come here and represent the Pretty company, cool. um, it you know says a lot about th them as owners, yeah. and yeah. and um, but also, you know, that parlays into our day to day as well. I they kind of trust us to do our thing, and um, that's a big part, I think, of what makes it interesting right. for for not only us but for other people to stick around. Is when you have someone that trusts you and almost, you know, allows us, you know, in a weird kind of way, into the into the inner circle of ownership. Even though we don't are, aren't owners, yeah. we get to act like owners and do things. Uh, so you have the autonomy to actually get which shit is, done. Which, Very which, much which so. Yeah. Makes that something different too, there's, uh, right? there's not a lot of micromanagement at all. Right. They, they trust you with like, right. what, yeah. what tasks you've been given. We want you to create this. Perhaps we should make one of these. And then we it's up to us to figure out what that something is. So, and, yeah. Yeah. so what's it been like? I know in BC, because I'm from Vancouver, right? I, we've sure. had, like this last couple of years specifically, most of our city is freaking expensive. One problem. Labor's been a problem. Inflation's been a problem. Like we had a lot of microbreweries actually close. Uh, close. Yeah. A lot yeah. of them. Yeah. Are you? Is it? Is that a? Is that a countrywide thing? Is it? It's a global thing, actually. Oh, I mean, well, okay. It's the. The. Uh, uh, no, no, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Looks good though. <laughs> I wanted one of those. Yeah, well, I <laughs> well, I oh, no, next time. Oh, yeah. If we get interrupted again, though, I'm asking. Oh, oh yeah. I don't care what yeah, it is. Just totally say yes. Right. Yeah. No, but the you know it's it's uh, beer sales are down globally. That I know. Yeah. And restaurant sales are uh, oh, that's are, 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 are down. Yeah. So like a lot of you know and um, you know it was let's just face it it was a little bit of a bubble like yeah. craft beer yeah and uh, it exploded. And it's just kind of right siding, and yeah. you know the ones who are well positioned, like the pump house, I, I feel um, will will be okay. And you know that's the, there's lots of diversity within the company and the product line. And, um, so I think you know that, but it but it is a thing. Like we're seeing a lot of one of the things that uh, you know the whenever whenever you're looking for new equipment uh, for the brewery. All you got to do is go on the auction sites. Yeah, there's tons of. And it. when you see a lot of stuff on the auction sites, yeah. it's a kind of a yeah. telling tale yeah. of what's yeah. going on in the industry. Yeah. 
Yeah, it, it is. I, um, I've noticed a trend in the U.S. and, and these bubbles do burst to what to Rich's point. Um, and but the, a diversified portfolio of your offerings. Uh, about four years ago, three years ago, um, you, you know, we, we dipped our foot into the ready to drink products. Yeah. Um, and now our ready to drink lines are almost 25% of our overall sales. So, and, and we also make. We make beer, we win awards within your typical categories of, of your pale ales and your cream ales and, and your stouts, um, but our most successful products are outside of that those typical so offerings. Like the Rattler, the Crafty Rattler, Rattler and our original flagship brand, I mean, we, we stole the line from another brewery, but our Blueberry Ale is, is the beer that built the, built the brewery, essentially. Um, so those brands continue to be uh, do very well for us, as so does our beer portfolio. Um, but I think you do have to have a diversified portfolio, and you have to be ready. So have you been? Have you had to that like ready to drink the ready? Or is that like the? Uh, it's like a cooler, the alcohol, the, like vodka coolers, the vodka seltzers, coolers and like that? seltzers, yeah. so sodas. Have, like, and that's now twenty five percent. So like, what about apple? About the not apple cider, but ciders in general. Oh, you know, don't trade secrets. Or like non-alcohol now, because that seems to be trending or, well, with younger people for sure. Anyway. Yeah, within the next within the next month to two months, we'll be launching our Crafty Rattler non-elk and our Blueberry Ale non-elk. Wow! Um, with and hope, how do they taste? They taste fantastic. They're pretty spot on. It's it's very spot on. Really? Uh, the guys, the guys, I refer to them. The guys, the owners have gone out and they've, and they've uh, invested in the proper equipment uh, to de-alcoholize the product. Wow! So it. it uh, yes, you know what I'm having. Yeah, he does. <laughs> we sent two people away. Now yes. he's mad at us. Thank so, you yes. so much. Appreciate it. Thank Just you. hide that behind here. Um, you can have it. No, 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 no. It's, it's good. Totally cool. Um, uh, they so, all know you have it. No, no I know. You can't hide it. We saw it. You're going to eat it now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the guy, you look You look for the trends. You he look where me. things are going to be hot. Yeah. Um, sometimes it's, uh, it's identified by us. Sometimes it's identified by the owners. And then we explore those opportunities. And they saw that an opportunity in the no-alk sector. Yeah. Um, so they invested in the right equipment. Uh, again, I'm not a brewer. We're part of the marketing and innovation yeah. team. Yeah. Um, but the right equipment, similar to uh, what major, like yeah. I think Heineken, Heineken is the same. The they job. have the same technology. Yeah. So yeah. do we now. Yeah. Oh, so okay. um, the, the product tastes great. Uh, I know that we're working on listings. It's Sobeys. Sobeys has also been carrying in Atlantic or in New Brunswick has been carrying our Crafty Rather line and some of our RTD products, and it's been doing very well. Awesome. And they've essentially said. Uh, if you're going to make a crafty rather no out, then we'd love to put it on our shelves. Wow. So yeah. I mean, I think it's I think it's defended in yeah. the past trend. Yes, I, I think it's, it's become it's a lifestyle thing. Yeah. I, I, oh yeah, my, well, my you know I have two kids older. She doesn't follow his. He doesn't drink. We don't know about her. We love you, Carly, oh, no, but come you know, on, she drinks. They're my daughter. She drinks a lot. <laughs> but they just don't. My son, like all his friends, just don't. Yeah. Like they don't. I think Carly drinks enough for both yeah. of them. Well, probably. Yeah. Well, no, it's a, it, it, and, and I said beer sales. Well, it's actually beer and alcohol yeah. sales yeah, yeah, that are yeah. you know, globally yeah. uh, are seeing a dip uh, like never before in history. It's always goes up. They're all cracking health reasons now. Exactly. I mean, this young yeah. generation doesn't seem that, well, I don't know what reason no, they have, but they don't, they don't seem to be motivated. Yeah. Like, even because I have gout, right? So if I drink too much, I'll, I'll end up with an attack. In Germany, as much as I was drinking beer, beer, like I had a lot of servings of non out just right. so I could have a beer. Yeah. And yeah. the beer was like really good. The non out was not a fed like you know, I'm usually thinking yeah. of shit. It's not yes, I know. Well, we Sugar free, you know, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. this is gonna be a nightmare. And no, they're actually pretty good. Well that's the beauty oh, of the technology that our, our our company invested in is that it's it's the old way was to kinda like Brew it in a certain way, already low alcohol, or you know, the yeah. different systems. Brew it. Pulp fermentation. Yeah, yeah. but our, our the system that we've got now, um, it basically brews the beer exactly the way you normally do it, and just takes the alcohol out, so it That's tastes awesome. exactly yeah. the same. That's awesome. That's amazing. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, so we're very stoked about that and what that's going to do. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. That's good. And I hear you're. What's it? Someone in Hollywood or the California stole the, stole the logo, borrowed the logo. No, you go ahead and tell us. Using story. the That's... logo. No, no. Or something like that. Or it was uh, what happened. I'm gonna was... make my own story. Yeah, you are making up your own story. It's good. No, what the hell? Right? It might be better about... than ours. Story, storytelling. That's yes. yeah. Well, someone had to, right? 
No, no. I can't uh, use equipment apparently. So you're talking about the the product placement thing. Well, something yeah. about that. Yeah. That, yeah. Like, yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? Why? I mean, no, no. We were a million beers on the market. Like why yours? They just the logo it looks like a tattoo. Yes, of course. I, I, we got a so. we got a cold email from a product placement company in L.A. Right in Hall. They're right in Hollywood. And they asked us if we'd be interested in doing. They wow. they had That's like cool. projects yeah, lined up. It's with, yeah. really cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Like they were they, looking. They, they were looking for. Us. They were looking for a Canadian craft beer. Come on. And they found us. And they contacted yeah. Rick. So yeah, it's, it's it was really like cool. big name actors. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I think that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. We haven't yeah, seen so. it. We haven't seen it on film yet, but yeah. yeah, we'll see. So it's not out yet. Oh no, no. Okay. We, we, I, we were. We really we were can't say anything more. No, I don't say anything. Don't say anything. The logo. It does lend itself to a tattoo. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh yeah, really absolutely. Great. You think? Yeah. yeah. But, well. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it, well, do you have it, a tattoo of it? I don't, but <laughs> it has happened. Yes. There are tattoos out we there. Have, we have yeah. fans out there you know that what? have it's sent a, in a, cool a picture tattoo. of their tattoo. Yeah. Like yeah. even if you just modify, like you played with a little bit, like you take the, the design itself. I, to make it a tattoo, you got to ask, you know, you got to ask. I think shit. at this point, this I is like the Yellowstone. You're gonna have to like. It's gonna need to go oh, on. Uh, no, no, we're not gonna. No, Big no. time, baby. We work on branding, not branded. <laughs> yes, different story altogether. I love it. I yeah. love it. Guys, thanks for doing this. Cool. Hey, yeah, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, thanks, no, Kenny. Thank you. I appreciate, yeah. it. appreciate it. Thank, thank you for doing thanks, this. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. 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 All right, I'm gonna eat this nice thing. Nice meeting you guys. Yeah. 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 Yeah.